Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV! Let's continue exploring the area to the northeast of Hammerhead. Okay, let's see, there's another treasure that I would like to collect around here. I think it's right about there. Check it out. There's a lot of treasures all over the, well, the overworld. But uh, if I can't find one quickly enough, then I'll just move on. They're not that critical. But it is critical that I survive against another group of Saber Tusks. Put our Kakaitis to use. They, oh, how did I not kill that guy? Whoop. Okay, gotcha. And... Okay, that's all. Usually I don't run into Saber Tusks there. Maybe I was a little off from where I usually am, but in any case, we got a little bit of AP. Let's see, I think I have enough to learn aftertaste. So, yeah, whenever you eat meals at camp, it'll last a little longer with this ability. And let's see, but it only works for meals you eat at Havens, not meals you eat at like a restaurant or something like that. So you want to watch out for that i'm not extraordinarily concerned about that particular ability i want to get this one so i can get even more ap basically the very early game of my approach is to get abilities that help me learn other abilities as early as possible so i can really ramp up the well learning new abilities over time there okay should be somewhere around here hmm i don't see anything here. oh there it is yeah usually it's pretty close but even fully zooming in on the world map it's still you know imprecise so i do what i can though but we got another bronze bangle there let's give that one to ignis he has a little less hp to start than noctis does and okay let's see over there yeah we got some more enemies there we'll take them out soon let's see the next one i want to get other than this food spot let's see i think is right about there but first let's take out some more reaper tails i don't think i went over their weaknesses last time guys we got a little problem let's see okay so these guys are weak to swords and great swords if i'm doing a warp strike i'll use a war or well a great sword on them because i know i'll pretty much one shot them but if i'm like right in their face i might use the broad sword because it's a bit quicker these guys move around pretty quickly so it can be hard to hit them with a great sword sometimes and usually, I like to try and target the enemy that is farthest away from me. So that way I have the best likelihood of being able to one-shot an enemy with these warp strikes. Something else you can do is while you're holding the uh, left analog stick for your movement, if you uh, press the square button, you can sort of manually roll and dodge attacks there. And sometimes you'll need to do that. There's some abilities that you either... Well, a lot of abilities or attacks that you just cannot either phase through or parry. In which case, you gotta manually dodge them like that. But alright, let's see. Over here, one more treasure. We're almost at the site for the hunt that we picked up last time an elixir awesome but let's see so yeah the saber tusks are a little tougher than the ones we've met up with before usually hunts are more difficult versions of other monsters that you may have met already now if you go all the way over here yeah there's a big guy down there do not go in there that guy is way too powerful for us at this point in the game but i will be fighting it in the relatively near future as in like less than 20 hours in the game from now but uh yeah eventually i would want to fight them but not right now okay let's see what do we got here i'm trying to see where we are exactly relative to this okay so right about there is another treasure 
So yeah, you, uh, you, well, yeah, there it is. Yeah, there's a food spot there, but you can't pick up treasures or ingredients or anything or interact with anything if you're in combat there. So that's how the game forces you to take care of things but so you can get access to treasures. Okay, so let's see if we can get the one little treasure there and then we'll take out the saber tusks there. Okay, so right... Ah, there it is. Wow, that was easy. Oh, wow, that was pretty close to where the marker was. Okay, so let's see. Let's get our Kakaitis going. They have the same weaknesses as the other ones. They just have higher stats. Okay, let's go after that one. Ha-ha! There we go. I don't think I'm on fire right now. That was the start of the game. Okay, good. We got a warp point. Let's put that to use. Ha-ha! Sometimes what I'll do is I like to do a manual dodge to get a little farther away from an enemy so I'm not using a warp strike at point-blank range. Uh, let's see. I don't think I'm going to be able to warp to a warp point and kill this guy before Ignis does, so I'm going to use Snapshot here to guarantee that I'll get an AP out of the deal. But yeah, that's the thing with... Uh, what is it? Oh, man, how much HP you got left? Yeah, there's no way I'm going to make it in time now. But at least I got all my MP restored. But yeah, you're just not going to be... Ooh, a beetle shell. But yeah, you're just not going to be able to kill every single enemy with a warp strike or a link strike to get AP out of them. It's not practical to do all the time. Because, well, you can't tell your allies, hey, stop attacking or something. No, no. So, oh well. But uh, let's see, where are we? Yeah, let's uh, get back going there. Okay, so we did the hunt. We can turn it in eventually. But I have some other things that I would like to do around here. Let's see. Okay, so I want to rest up at the Haven up ahead there. But first, I want to get some treasure in the area. Let's see, what time is it? Oh, good, good. Yeah, you want to try and keep it daytime early in the game. Because the enemies at nighttime, like Cindy was saying, are much more difficult. Not that we can't kill them, or that they're really that hard. It would just take a while to kill enemies, and I would just rather fight enemies I can kill quickly. Like those saber tusks and all that. And eventually I will be crafting some magic to help deal some more damage to enemies. But I'd like to get a full amount of an element to craft a spell first. I'm going off. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, yeah. Ah, there you go. It's like, where'd all the other enemies go? Whoop. Okay, well, maybe we can get a snapshot in here. Hopefully they don't kill everything. Game? Come on. I meant to do that. Uh-oh. Even more enemies? Where did you guys come from? Die already! Haha! -ha! Got my MP refilled. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, I think I need, what was that, 20? AP to get the next ability. Yeah, I want to get that ability, preferably before I rest up at the Haven there, so I can generate even more AP by eating more of Prompto's favorite foods there. Okay, so with this one, this is actually a treasure spot that'll pop up on the mini-map there, but the tipster didn't tell us about that one. So sometimes you're gonna just have to walk around and find these things. It's only so far a man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. Ugh, pretend you're walking to the car. Well, as long as I can regenerate my stamina infinitely, I think we're fine. But uh, okay, we gotta kill these guys in order to grab the treasure. Okay, got that. Hmm, I'm probably only gonna be able to get one more good uh, warp strike kill, so I'm gonna get a little farther away. Just to make sure we get the job done. Or not. 
nuts. Maybe I can get a link strike on this guy. No, I guess not. Well, we got some scorpion barbs there. Let's see. Ah, oh, man, I'm a little short. Okay. Well, there's. Well, I don't know if I'll be fighting any more enemies, but let me see. Okay, around here. I think the treasure's right there. And hopefully we'll find some enemies on the way and a means of restoring my MP. Is there like a big rock around here or something? It's not big enough. I'm trying to see if there's... Uh, that'll do. Let's go to this one. So like they were showing us in the tutorial, you get next to an obstacle like this. Press square button and you'll regenerate your HP and MP immensely faster while you're taking cover there. So that's one way you could work around the problem. Like over here, I don't think there was a warp point in the area. Oh, okay, I guess these guys respawned pretty quickly there, actually. Okay, well, we can fight them again. Whoop. Okay, let's see. Let's go for you or not, and I can just waste all my... Uh, what is it? MP? Why not? Okay, are you guys gonna attack or what? So I'm trying to bait them so that way I can still try and get a Link Strike to get some extra AP there. So let's see. There we go. Sometimes, even though I'll have the tech points to use a technique, my, my list won't show up that I can use that technique for some reason. Even uh, maybe like the character or someone is busy doing something else. Hmm. Yeah, pretty bad on the AP I got out of that one. I think it was what, two or three? Something like that. Yeah. Oh well. But anyway, okay, so yeah, let's get appetize going before we rest up there. And I want to grab this treasure before getting over there, too. So usually, yeah, you might notice with the clock, they use, like, the 24-hour system there. So usually it'll get nighttime at about, uh, what is it, uh, 1,900 hours. Oh, a dual horn. I want to fight that soon. Let's grab the treasure first, and then I'll grab that. Then we'll rest up at the haven. You might also notice that... Uh, the food buff has almost worn off. You see on the bottom in the middle of the screen there? Yeah, that's... The bar there indicates how much time we have left. And we've almost run out of time. Okay, let's aim for the horn. Aha! Uh -huh. There you go. Get a good snapshot in there. I think these guys are weak to fire, if I recall correctly. But I don't have anything that's fire elemental yet. So let's just keep on going for the horn there. Whoop! I mostly just want the horns for money, but it's not absolutely critical. In fact, it's actually a bit dangerous to try and do that. Because I'm standing right in front of them and they can try and impale me with their horn. But uh, let's keep on going there. Oh, man, I would have gotten it there, too, if he didn't dodge. Man, this guy's going into pissy boss mode. Sometimes, after using snapshot, an enemy will be, like, right up in my face with an attack that I could potentially parry. So whenever I use a technique and the animation is getting done with, I'll hold the, uh, what is that? I'll hold the square button preemptively, just in case I have an attack that I could potentially parry. Okay, I'm getting a little sloppy here. But, uh, come on. I still can't break it? Whoa! Yeah, you see, I didn't parry the attack, but I had the ability to warp out of being launched into the air by that guy, so I wouldn't take, like, fall damage or something. Okay, come on. 
Ha ha! There you go. Really, the important thing with these guys is just make sure you get the AP out of them. Maybe it's just mm. me, but I felt kind of bad taking those things down. You're not alone, but out in the wild, it's kill or be killed. And personally, I prefer the former. Yeah, that would be helpful. But uh, okay, so by the way, with some of those items that I've been collecting, some of those treasures. Uh, let's see, I would like to hold on to scorpion barbs for later. They can be used as a component when ca crafting your spells to add venom cast to them, which lets you poison enemies with your spell in addition to whatever elemental damage you deal. Beetle shells are also really good because they can be used to give your spells quad cast, which gives you a chance of casting a single spell but four times consecutively, up to four times there. And Gladio will randomly find them on the battlefield. And sometimes you'll just find them as treasures around there. So you want to hold on to those treasures for later there. So yeah, both of those are very useful for uh, elementy and creating spells and all that. But uh, okay, we're done with our business here. Let me see what the next ability I want to get is. I think I want to get happier camping off the top of my head, but I'd have to look it up to be sure. Let's get a little more elemental energy there. As long as we're at the haven around here. Most havens will have those... Oh, there's that one down here. I thought ice would have been down here, but I'm guessing it's up top there. So yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay, we can go around the other way. Why not? But yeah, most havens will have these things around there. And eventually, once we get the ability to move around a lot more quickly, if, I, sultry. Yeah. if I really want to get more elemental energy, I can just go from one place to the next to the next really fast to fully recharge what energy I've got there. But, uh, okay, what's the quickest way I can get on top of this thing? So, yeah, there's a lot of havens all over the overworld. But, uh, okay, so this one is also going to have... Uh, what is that? A tour quest that I want to do. Yeah, happier camping is the next thing that I would like to do there. So, yeah, let's camp out then. It's bedtime. Yeah. Okay, so we get the 2 AP for resting at a haven that was not the same as the last one we were at. And I still want to eat something that's a favorite food for Prompto there. So let's go with that one. And now that we've got... Uh, what was that? Appetize or aftertaste, whichever one it was. <laughs> Now that we've gotten that, we'll get an AP for eating anyone's favorite food. It doesn't have to be Prompto. Anyone can do it. So you see my AP there? And then... Well, it went up to 10 because... Uh, what was that? Yeah, because of the Appetize ability there. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Appetize. And you see there, everyone gained two levels. So three AP for each of those and then multiply by the number of party members so we got 24 extra AP so that's pretty nice hey all right so you see with Ignis's cooking there you'll get a certain they don't tell you like how many skill points you get but there's essentially like an experience system where every time you cook a different recipe well, not a different recipe, just any recipe at a haven, you'll get some amount of skill points for cooking that recipe there. So some recipes will give more timing. <laughs> uh, skill points than others. Ooh, that's a really nice shot there. But uh, let's see what else we got here. Why is your face so fat? I'm a fat... Selfies make it look that way. Oh, okay. 
face looks rather slim to me, but... These okay. bastards were a pain. They were? I was one-shotting them. Ooh, that's a nice shot, too. The, uh, parry there. Mm. Yeah, that's a nice-looking shot there. I likes. Yeah, I know. He's trying to sneak up on the guy. Well, yeah. They're rhinos. What did you expect? Okay, so let's see what we got here. Yeah, I like this one the best. I could take multiple photos if I wanted to, but usually I try to limit myself to like one or two. So I don't like fill up my whole camera, or phone, or whatever we got going. But yeah, so we got another tour quest this time with Ignis. So let's see what we can do around here. Hey, how's it going? Trouble you a moment, Noct. Yeah? I could use your help in the morning. Me and mornings don't usually get along. What Why did you expect? You me make breakfast? Oh. Okay. Do I get AP out of it? Spoiler alert! We do! Most important meal. Well then, tomorrow it is. Uh, you seem to do a good job cooking already. Do we have to eat two meals now? By the way, if you eat one meal and then eat another before it runs out, or the timer runs out, the new food uh, recipe or the buff will overwrite the old one. The key is to let the pot simmer without ever letting it burn. How do I do that? A few stirs here and there should suffice. That's it? That's all you needed my help with for cooking breakfast, I guess? Whatever we're doing. But, uh, yeah, there's not much to this one. So, yeah, just... I think you're just supposed to rotate the, time you cooked anything? the analog really stick. Back when you were a part-time cook. Sounds right. But even back then, I was pretty much just winging it. Although, the icon seems uh, to be going, like, left to right. I imagine. Just what normal people would. So... Yeah. Let's see how things are stewing. Hmm. Could use just a touch longer to thicken. If you don't mind stirring. What am I making? Like an omelet or something? Or whatever's going on here? Not or at all. If you don't mind telling me what this cooking class is all about. Some kind of soup? Uh, I was only hoping to have a fireside chat. See what's got you stewing. So what do you mean? up this little pretense. All these years. Never stopped worrying about me. My royal duty per His Majesty. Your hobby. Mm, evidently. Now then, time for the taste test. I don't think it really matters. Looks done to a turn. Excellent work. How good you do. Mmm. Sweet are the fruits of one's own labor. Hey! Not bad. You must be eager to learn more of the gunnery arts. Actually, I'm eager to leave the cooking to you. My half-baked scheme, up in smoke. Uh -huh. But yeah, you'll get slightly different dialogue. Stove. Can't complain. It's not so bad every once in a while. Depending on how not well you do. Thing in the morning. No, no. The world at dawn is full of wonders. Yeah, can't wait to marvel at them all. Dawn tomorrow, I'll marvel at my own pace. <laughs> So yeah, you'll still get a big help. the AP. Yeah, I'm good like that. Right. Regardless of how well or not well you do there. But now I think we can get a new ability. Okay, so let's get back to exploration. Let's go for happier camping. So now we'll get three. Three AP for re or camping at a haven. Ah, ah, ah. And then let's see... Okay, the next ability I want to get costs a little more AP. Not very much, actually, but we'll see what we got. Okay, so we're good to go there. And there's a couple more treasures that I want to pick up coming up here. And then, yeah, then we'll be good. Okay, so we're done here. Let's see, where do we go? Okay, well, this one, actually, I don't even think I really need to mark on the map. It's around that area and then i want to grab that treasure over there 
Okay, so let's see. Yeah, right up there, there's a little tower where the item I'm going to look for is. And I think there's going to be some enemies in the area as well. But uh, I come to this spot later on in the game as well. Actually, a couple times, I think, for different things. Okay, so I don't want to run out of stamina here going into combat. Because if you're out of stamina, you can't warp strike. Okay, so once I've gotten a target lock, then I can target almost any enemy in the area. Target the one that's farthest away, and we're good to go. But you need a line of sight in order to be able to uh, warp strike an enemy. Okay, let's get my MP back. Ha-ha! Perfect! It's got every AP that I could out of that battle. Okay, so the next ability that I want to get, let's see, in teamwork, Link Up! Because Link Strikes are going to be a massive source of damage for us throughout the whole game. You can just deal so much more damage with Link Strikes than whatever you could do by yourself. There's also a Super Link Up that I want to get eventually, but not right now. Okay, so let's see. If we go up there... Yeah, there's a little treasure up there. Yeah, it can be a little tricky to make that jump, but we got Oracle Ascension Coin number three, I think. Let's see. Yeah, number three. Okay, we're good to go there. Let's take a look around for that treasure spot over there. And then we'll head on back. I'm not going to explore absolutely everything right away. So I'll try to do stuff, you know, where wherever the hunts are or where the main quest takes me to go. Though eventually I will cover everything, just not all at once. Whoa, I'm almost out of stamina. Okay, I need to be a little careful here. Okay, come on. Okay, let's uh, see what we can do. I don't see a, uh, what is that? A warp point around here. Maybe I can, like, bait these guys to uh, attack me or something. No? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Well, I canceled an attack, I think. Whoops. Okay, so I got a little AP going here. Let's wait a little bit. No, you're not. I was waiting to see if one of my allies would weaken that one enemy there a little more. That's already a bit light on HP. Okay, there we go. Finish them. Okay, come on. Come over here. Game. Are you going to attack me sometime today? Hmm. I'll see if I can get a snapshot in, but I don't think I'll get it off in time. Oh, hey, all right. Uh-oh. There's even more of these guys. Nuts. Thought that was all of them. Did I kill the guy? No, I didn't even scratch it. Okay, well at least we got one, but man, I could really use some help there. Hmm. Somehow I missed that parry there. But uh yeah, let's get a snapshot in there. Man, I really wish I had a work point around here. But I can't seem to find one. Okay. Ha-ha! Well, we did all right there. Got a lot of AP to learn another ability. Let's see, I want to learn a new technique. Regroup. Not for the actual ability itself. Although, it is pretty good because you exchange two tech bars to heal everyone quite a bit there. And if that ability crits, I think it boosts your vitality a bit too for a little while so that's pretty nice but that's not the ability that i'm really looking after i want to get enhancement it's probably my second favorite technique in the game but uh okay so we got that we'll keep an eye out for enhancement there then but uh, little by little there let's see is there a big rock around here something i can use to uh Get my MP restored? I think this one might work. 
But uh, we'll see. You want to look for like a big flat surface or something. No, that's not working there. How about down here? This one looks good. There we go. Okay. You could also use like an ether or an elixir to, uh, what is that? To restore your MP, but I would rather not bur burn all of my uh, items like that. Or my consumable items, anyway. Where'd the other one go? Ah, there you are. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I didn't have enough time to uh, get the snapshot going. And the enemy there was already sufficiently low on HP that if I tried to use snapshot, I would either break even with uh, getting the AP, but then someone else kills the guy. So I might as well take the guarantee of killing the guy and moving on. So sometimes I got to make a bit of a judgment call knowing that I can't kill the last enemy and snapshot off at the same time. But overall, it's not really that big of a deal. But uh, okay. So let's see. One more treasure and then we'll be heading back. I forget if there's enemies around here or not. Probably. Whoop. Remember, there we go. Yeah, if you just constantly maintain a target lock, the camera will automatically move to whatever enemies are around you. Okay, so let's do one more. And then I saw a warp point around here. There we go. Can I make it in time? Ha-ha! There we go. Something else you got to be careful for is you know if an enemy is running around like really fast sometimes like those saber tusks if you warp strike them you might just totally miss on them because they're moving so fast warp strikes are fast but not that fast but uh all right so we got our third bronze bangle give that to noctis because gladio has immensely more hp than everyone else but all right, I think that's uh, everything that I can do there. So let's see, we got, I want to turn in the hunt and get back to Hammerhead. So now we can use one of our fast travel methods, returning to whatever the last rest point you used. In this case, yeah, going back to Catiz Haven. So that way I don't have to fight enemies all the way back. Although, I'll pro I might get into one battle. Sometimes there is enemies right around the tower over there in the little shack. Uh-oh. Yeah, I heard something going on. Okay, I think there's another enemy to my right, but I can't seem to turn over there right now. Let's try that one again, pal. Get a good snapshot. You see, so we got that first shot attack from Prompto there. So I got the tech bars needed to use snapshot right away before my other allies could significantly weaken an enemy. See, I think that's all of them. Very nice. Okay, how are we looking? Eh, a little short on AP for enhancement, but that's okay. And so let's see. So now I want to turn in the hunt back at the diner over there. You can turn in hunts to any diner in the game. You don't have to go back to the one where you initially got it. So sometimes I route things in such a way that I'll finish up a hunt, but then I'll go to my next going? destination. Got plenty of time to figure it out. To, like, pick up a new hunt and turn in the current one at the same time. Might want to stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? <laughs> Most of the time I like the banter between the party members in the game. Sometimes it can get, eh, a little annoying. 
But I suppose that's how the whole brotherhood thing, whatever, goes on. But, uh, okay, we got all that taken care of. If y'all liked it, come on back. Okay, so I want to restock on some ingredients for that recipe that I've been using up to this point. Have yourselves hey. a good browse. Okay, let's see. What do we got? So, sharp bones we can afford to get Much rid of. Hard whiskers I don't care for. The mesmenier horns I definitely want to sell. They're pretty good for the money there. Hold on to the scorpion barbs for later. Although you don't have to. I could use a different item to get venom cast. But I've already got these here. So why not use what we got? So yeah. Fossil wood I don't care about. Saber tusk claws I'm not worried about. But we fight. We fight so many saber tusks. We'll get tons of them. Yeah. Giant hairy horn we don't care about. Just the regular hairy horn. Sells for pretty decent money at this point. Let's see, Hardened Hoof and Fossil Shell, I also don't care about. Okay, so we got all this stuff going. And, okay, I just need one of each of those. And, yeah, let me double check the Scorpion Barb there. I'm pretty sure that's the one I want. But, uh, let's see. Okay, so if we got that, and then... Okay, yeah, good, Venom Cast. I just wanted to make sure, because there's like a couple different Scorpion items that are similar, but... Not exactly the same. Oh, right. I need to uh, buy some stuff. But uh, yeah, you see up there where it says Prompto? Every now and then, you'll have a party member that says, Hey, check this out, or whatever. And there'll be some object or whatever that they're looking for, or looking at, or something. You can get a little diet or little text about it. You've got everything here. Doesn't look like everything to me, but okay. But yeah, uh, let's buy more of the ingredients. You again. Okay, so I want to get one more choco bean. Much appreciated. And then four sweet peppers. I'm buying less choco beans because there's going to be a, well, choco bean harvest. Or, well, food spot. Harvest point, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so I'm going to get three of those out in the field where I'm going next. So, yeah, I don't need to buy as much, but sweet peppers, I definitely want to have quite a few of those ready to go. Please come again. And I would just hold on to all of the ingredients that I collect throughout the game. Selling excess treasures is stuff. more than enough for whatever money that I need. Let me see here. I thought there was like a, a little drawing or something around here. The dress is being produced by none other than Vivian Westwood. What dress? First-rate chefs from around the world have assembled in Alpicia to cater the wedding. Oh, wow. Vivian is crafting a menu rich with delicacies, including caviar fresh from the Baia de Toluna. Flowers have also been flown in to fill the bouquet Lady Luna Freya will carry as she walks down the aisle. Aww. Okay, let's see. Where is this thing? I don't think that's it. I thought I saw something I could check out. Or no, that was the bounty poster there. Oh, oh there we go. What about it? Ah, so they got the chef and Sid and I almost said Mindy, but no, uh, Cindy there. Mid? No, nah. no, nah, that's another game. But uh, okay, so we're done here. So now let's actually start to advance the plot a little bit. Take care of some of those uh, varmints that they were telling us about. Okay. So, oh, hold on. Yeah, let's uh, make a little backup here. Holy cow, it's been a while since I saved there. Well, that could have been bad. Okay, so let's see. There's a bunch of treasures that we can get in the area. That is the thing with this game is that... Like, there's some areas, like, around here, where there's going to be a lot of treasures. And then there's some areas, like, this whole area here, that have almost nothing. So it's pretty random as to tracks. where treasures up. are or not. Let's see. If we climb all the way up here, 
if I can. Ha ha! A mega elixir. Definitely want to hold on to those for later. They are too good to use. And another bit that I can sell there. Okay, what are we dealing with? I think those are Reaper Tails. Could deal with those easily enough. Tread lightly. Okay, let's target. Yeah, let's target this one because my allies are more likely to kill that one. Being a lot closer. Okay, let's go for that one. Uh, are you dead? Good. Warp strike up there, get my MP back. Uh, I was a little worried that guy was moving too fast for me to finish off there. Ha ha! And another beetle shell. What's this thing? What happened here? A telegraph pole's been split in two. Huh. And not just this one either. Who the hell do you think did this? Hard to say. Natural disaster, perhaps? You sure? The hammerhead doesn't have a scratch on it. Huh. Maybe a huge monster came and knocked him down. It Maybe not be the varmint Cindy was talking about. Well, I hope not. Holy cow! We're not that prepared for all this. Okay, so let's see. Around here, I think, is where another treasure is. Man, being able to mark the map like that is so useful for finding all these little treasures here. Because you don't have... Well, sometimes you do. But usually you don't have, like, a massive treasure chest or something really obvious to let you know where all the treasures are. Even as much as I've played the game, I'm still finding new treasures around the game. There's just no way I'm going to ever find every single one. The game is just so massive there. Okay. Eh, a little off on um, that placement there, but I think we'll be fine. Okay, so where is this one? Okay, actually, I think I want to go over here for the next hunt. Bunch of Mesmineers. These guys are a lot stronger than the ones we fought before. And usually, when you get in that yellow radius, you can't save. So you want to save before going in there if you need to. Okay, so let's see. Right about there is another treasure. I don't know if I'll get into the aggro radius of the Mesmineers before then. But I'll see what we can do. Okay, which one of you guys are going to go first? Aha! Uh, that wasn't the enemy that attacked me. But I countered a different one. That's bizarre. I want to get a little farther away so I can make sure I finish the guy off. Hmm. Oh! I meant to do that! Let's go. Yep. I was actually aiming for the telegraph pole there, but uh, well, that that works too. Okay, so yeah, since we're doing pretty good on our AP so far, we can get enhancement. And the nice thing about that is it's a buff that Ignis can instill on Noctis, only Noctis. And if an enemy is weak to fire, ice, or lightning. Then he'll be able. Then uh, he'll give me that particular buff there. So you'll deal usually about twenty percent more damage. So it depends on from enemy to enemy. Some enemies take way more damage if they're weak to an element, but most enemies, if they're weak to something, they will take like twenty percent more damage. I like using enhancement sometimes even more than snapshot sometimes because enhancement lasts for quite a while it's a pretty good buff i think it lasts for like a couple minutes or something and it gives me since i'm going to deal more damage it makes it more likely that i will finish off an enemy before someone else does and thus i would lose out on ap so, yeah, it depends on the enemy, though. These Mesmineers, I definitely want to have Enhancement ready to go. And I'm probably going to use Tempest a little bit with Gladio there. Because, well, they're still weak to great swords there. As a matter of fact, let's uh, get rid of the technique there so I don't accidentally use it here. Press the L3 button. 
and you remove the technique or equipment or whatever. But all right, so we got a warrior's anklet. It increases your vitality there. And yeah, Prompto could use the help. So let's give that to him. And then for Gladio, we'll just give him the bronze bangle just because I don't have anything better at this point. Okay, and then I think there's another treasure, I think around there or so. Looks like I managed to avoid uh, aggroing the Mesmineers. Okay, where are you? Gotta be close by. Is that it? Yeah, there it is. I thought I saw something going on over there. Okay, let's get out of the radius there so that I can save. Whoop, no, not that one. And, okay, let's see. Let's go around this... Well, not really a mountain, but, uh, hmm. I'm surprised I'm... I ran into enemies there. Let's see, are you gonna attack me? No? Okay. Then I'll attack someone else. Whoa! That was a really long warp strike. I really hope there's a warp point around here. Or this guy could, uh... What, what were you attacking? Oh, okay. Well, now I could use Snapshot. I didn't expect to get into another battle like that. Usually, uh, battlefields or, like, an aggro radius do not overlap like that. Uh, oh, wow, there's even more of these guys? Okay, let's see. Warp point. Warp point. Do you have any warp points? No, I guess not. I was hoping to maybe get a blindside link strike there, but no, no. Maybe there's a warp point around here. Well, let's uh, get a snapshot in there. Pronto? Yeah, there you go. And, well, at least I got an AP out of it. But uh, now, let's see, I need a... I need a big area where I can take cover. Even though it looks like I should be able to there, I can't for some godforsaken reason. But, uh, let's see. I could, I mean, I could just wait for my MP to refill. Or I could just keep looking around a little bit. Let's try and stay in the radius this time. But, uh, no, no. Okay. Well, I'll just take what I've got. I know there's a warp point during the battle, so I think we'll be okay anyway. But, uh, okay, uh, oh, I was like, where'd all the Mesmineers go? Usually they're not all, what were they doing, like, sleeping or something on the ground? Kind of strange. Let's go! Come on, break it off. Ha-ha! So what I did there with the Greatsword is a finishing move that deals considerably more damage than just any regular single attack. Let's see. Okay, wait for the Mesmineer to slow down. Finish them. And move along. Get the warp point. Get my AP refilled. Get back into action there. Let me see if I can break it up. Nope. Okay. Let's get enhancement going. So now I'll deal a lot more damage to these guys. Okay, let's uh, get out of the way. I don't want them to gang up on me. That could be bad. Okay, you are a bit light on HP. Let's go with Tempest here. Tempest might be able to break a horn, but uh, apparently not. Hey, get back here. If I don't break the horn, that's fine. The AP is more important. But uh, let's let them uh, yeah, spread out a little bit. Hey, hey, I broke off the horn and got the AP. Sweet. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, let's go with Tempest. I was thinking about maybe not using Tempest because I might kill the guy. I doubt it. Yeah, we'll just finish that guy off. Don't worry about getting the horns. They sell for good money, but it's not that good. I would just prefer to do that if I can. 
Yeah, that guy was sufficiently low on HP that I was willing to warp strike them at point blank range, which is pretty poor on damage normally. So anyway, the way you do the finishing move there is after you do the first attack and you see the great sword like right over Whoops. Well, that's fine. But yeah, you see the the Noctis holding the sword over his head like that. And then you can skip right to the finishing move of the Blitz combo there. Hmm, I'm surprised that didn't deal more damage. Come on, warp point. Nope, no warp point. Oh well. I'm dying of thirst here. I'm starving to death. And yet we're all very much alive. But uh, all right, got him. Okay, let's see. As far as treasures go in the area, let's see. We can go up there. Yeah, there's a few treasures we can get in the area here. Okay, so around here, let's see. I think I'm almost like right on top of it practically. Let's see, somewhere, oh, huh. Oh, that was because I was in the quest menu. Yeah, when you're on the map from looking at quests there, you can't like alter the map. You gotta go into the map menu in order to do what you want or get what you want. Oh, that was easy. I'm surprised I'm finding these quite as quickly as I am. Sometimes it can be a little tricky, even though I know where they are. But it's not like an exact science. Not to mention, a lot of the treasure spots don't respawn. Like that, uh, what is it? Like the bronze bangle treasure spot, that will respawn, but a lot of times equipment treasures won't respawn unless there's like that box or treasure chest icon in your map there. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, let's go after those guys. And then the next treasure that I want to pick up is right about there. Oh, right. Not in the map menu. Try that again about there but yeah as you can see we are quite more powerful than the enemies that we uh started fight or we are fighting to advance the plot probably because they expect you to do this before anything else so let's see how did i not warp strike that guy maybe i can kill both of them Okay, let's uh, wait for them to get really low on HP. Hmm. Uh, I meant to do that. Okay, hmm. Yeah, let's go with the snapshot. I was thinking about just going for the warp strike there, but I figured we were sufficiently far from the enemies that we wouldn't be very likely to finish them off before snapshot was done. Stronger. Must be thanks to my balanced diet. The one that excludes vegetables. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> All right. I like that little exchange. Okay, so let's see. The next spot is, yeah, right over there. Let me see. I don't think there's any other treasures in the area other than the one that I'm looking for right now. Let's get on with it. But, uh, all right. So, let's see. Over here... There it is. Oh wow, pretty close so, on that one. Uh, where are we headed anyway? Nowhere until the repairs are done. Evidently. For golden key. Then after that, we hop a boat, and before you know it, lover boy's hitched. Wait for car repairs, then wedding bells in the air. Got it. That's the idea. Hmm, it's almost oh. getting to nighttime. Usually, I don't quite fight this many battles around here, but that's okay. More AP, the better. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta figure out what abilities I want to get next. I mean, I have a list of what I want to do. Uh, yeah. Finish that guy off there. Okay. Yeah, basically, I want to try and warp strike as far away from my current location as possible. But now they're all starting to group up there. I think, yeah. That guy was uh, coming right at me. I could tell because their tail was 
like tucked away and they were kind of moving around really fast there. Or they looked like they were about to. Mm, no warp point. Oh well. Nice. Mission complete. Who could this be? Now well, let's see what's going on. Hello? Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. Fella named Dave went off, and we ain't heard from him since. Reckon That's... he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Oh, got it. We'll take a look. Huh? Okay, easy enough. So, what did Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. Okay. Well, we could go over there to advance the plot, but I want to go around here and uh, check out uh, another haven over there. And I think there's a couple more treasures we can find along the way there, too. So, let's see. Let's go right about there. I think there's another treasure. Yeah. Let's uh, head on over there. Hopefully, we won't find two more or too many more enemies around here. Let's see. Okay, so for new abilities, I would like to get Chained Fury there. Though it's not... I'm not particularly interested in that ability. More so, I'm interested in Warp Factor. Because, well, Warp Strikes can generate AP, so the more damage I can deal with them, the more likely I'm going to get AP without someone else killing the enemies there. I mean, I'm just going to lose some AP, potential AP, no matter what I do. But I'd like to increase the odds as much as possible. And if you want to look for more enemies... You should probably try to stay away from the edge of, like, a road or a mountain or something. But in this case, the treasure is very close to the mountain, so I don't really have much of a choice. Yeah. Happy weather. Yeah. It's a sandstorm. Something going on here. Okay, one more treasure, and then we can uh, make it to the haven over there okay so right about there somewhere in that area that's uh, yeah should be pretty close to where we want to go and there's quite a few good items that we can get in the area items that i know will be there not just random items something you could do if you wanted if you really wanted to get more debased coins out of these random treasure spots you could, like, save and then just reload your save file over and over and over again until you get one or whatever item you want out of there. I'm not precisely sure how that works. Like, what potential items you can get, but I have a general idea of what can potentially be gained out of that. Okay, I was thinking about crafting a fire spell there. Hmm. I think I'm going to save that for later. I want to wait until I get some abilities in the magic talents there before doing that. So for now, I'll just max out my, my, yeah, my elemental energies there, and that'll be good enough. And, okay, yeah, let's rest up, get a little more AP. How are we doing? Hmm, well, I'm gonna have enough to get the next ability I want. Because I'm gonna gain a level for, at least one level for everyone. Ugh, I'm all sticky and gross. Oh. Well, yeah, we've, uh, been getting down and dirty, I suppose. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, go for this one. By the way, if you really want to max out your cooking skills there the mystery meat sushi dish is pretty good for that you get decent experience out of it and you can just go to the haven over and over and over and over again and get up to like cooking level 10 that's the maximum level there so you could do that if you wanted i'm not gonna also you see this recipe for 
some reason doesn't require ingredients there, but I think it doesn't give very many skill points, so I wouldn't use that. I think that was a DLC originally, but at least in the PC version, they give it to you for free. So yeah, eat a dish, another favorite for Prompto there. And, oh right, yeah, we got uh, pretty good on the AP and the experience there. Awesome. And we learned a new recipe for Ignis. Whenever you gain a cooking level, you'll learn a unique recipe for him. So yeah, you want to do what you can there with that. Ooh, that's a nice picture. Aww. Whoa, what happened there? I think that guy was like getting ready to attack or something. Look at well, you. yeah, I know. Why you gotta be so photogenic? <laughs> yeah, while you're using a technique, you won't be able to be attacked. I mean, they can attack you, but most of the time, you're not gonna be able to take damage. So they kind of make you invulnerable for the duration of the tech animation. Ooh, that guy's getting ready to pounce on someone. Hey, isn't that... Hmm? Isn't what what? Just my imagination. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. Sometimes you'll see Carbuncle get into one of the pictures there, but uh, no, not this time. Yeah, I think we'll go with this one. That's a good one. But all right, let's see. Peaceful out here. Dark and quiet reveals so much hidden by loud city lights. That's all mm. well and good, but I'm more concerned about the things hiding in the dark. Well, it's definitely no mm. place for a moonlight stroll. But it's not all bad. Yeah, I kind of like it. Never would have guessed. Why not? Because you're a prince? Why? Princes can't enjoy the outdoors? Sure, why not? Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. But where can we put some of these repair kits we bought to use? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.